Hi, I'm Glenn Whip with the Los Angeles Times. Justify just finished its uh, sixth and final season uh, uh, last week. Joining us today from the show, Joelle Carter, Ava Crowder. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Nice. It's still a little pang to say that sixth and final season. I mean, you've had some time now. Uh, are you kind of getting used to the idea that the show's over? I still feel pain too. Yeah. I do. Yeah. Um, I was just saying, I think when I come back from vacation and, and the fall hits, I'll realize it's really, really over when we don't start over again. <laughs> right, because you'd be starting shooting... In October. Yeah. 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 Um, but we've had many different endings. Like, the last two weeks of shooting was a, a beautiful time, and it was, it was uh, definitely a hard <laughs> schedule, but everyone just kept plowing through, and... And then we went down to Harlan County, and we screened the finale down there before we screened it in L.A. And I have to say it was one of the funnest screenings of Justified I've ever been to. Where'd it's they screen it? At, at uh, the Harlan County uh, uh, Elementary School down there. It's a beautiful school, brand new. It's gorgeous in, in Harlan. I can't believe I've never been until the finale, yes, yeah. but um, I, I'm so happy I went, and um, I'm so happy I got to experience it with with that crowd so they had it at the elementary school and just like a big screen uh, not so big but it was a it was a decent sized screen and, it, and then the the community came and um, they're very very invested in the show and very proud of the show and I think I would like to say proud of the way we depict uh, the south and especially Harlan County yeah I think the show did a I mean a really good job throughout its whole run but especially this year Yes. I mean, Harlan was such an important part of like the the what was going on in the season and and the future of Harlan and what it's like to live there. I think for Elmer Leonard, who created the sh uh, the short story, the, the novel that the um, the show is based on, uh, environment is a very big part of his yeah. his, his yeah. <laughs> storytelling and. Um, it's almost another character, and it definitely was for us. The, the, right. you know where where these people were from and where they're trying to get out of, as the theme song yeah. says in the end. Did they tell you how much did you know going into this season? What would be Ava's journey for the for the final thirteen episodes? I knew a lot because season I, five. Uh, was the setup for what Ava was going to go through for season six. And, and they had the idea that what they wanted to do in six was bring the three back together and, and, and bring it back to where it, it all began. And uh, if they hadn't taken my character to the darkest, lowest place they took her in season five, I'm not sure she would have been able to make that deal from her own moral standings um, and or be in a place where... Uh, mentally and, and emotionally she could have even handled something like that there's no way out she had to take it and and it set her up for season six and I knew how it was going to end yeah. although we didn't know how we were going to get there and with the way we shoot on Justified you're never quite sure so um, I was holding my breath because Graham and I talked and we said we wanted to, to be a true uh, Elmore Leonard female ending where she gets away with it all and um, and they pulled it off so very so you satisfying. Knew you were going to survive the season. I knew I was going to survive. Yes. Maybe um, you didn't know who else was going to survive with you, but I wasn't one hundred percent sure. I knew that almost everyone walked into the room and told Graham they wanted to die, <laughs> except <laughs> me. I said I don't want to yeah. die. <laughs> I don't think this woman's been put through all this, and I don't think it would serve her to die. So. Um, but and so I wasn't sure. Walton uh, Goggins, who plays Boy Crowder, he really wanted to die. He really yeah. wanted to die, and I, and he's pulled off a lot of things on that show um, through sheer uh, force and perseverance. So I wasn't sure if he's going to be able to convince them <laughs> to let him die or not. Yeah. But he didn't, so it's good. Yeah, he he has said. Well, let me let me get to a couple of plot points from this season. I mean, first of all, Ava shot Boyd. Yes. Which was like crazy. I yes. love that. It's crazy um, for me too. <laughs> do you think was she aiming to wound him? 
she's a pretty good shot, right? She's a pretty good shot, yes. And, you and she wanted to kill him or wound him? I, I didn't want her to shoot him to, to try to kill him. I, and, I, and we discussed that it would be, the wound would end up towards the shoulder yeah. and not the heart. Because I don't, she didn't want to kill him. She wanted to get away. And she, the whole season, had been looking for opportunity. And, she, and, and it finally was there and she had to take it. And so, also I feel like through the journey of this season, she, she was swayed both ways. Yeah. <laughs> but in the end, seeing how these two men um, were mostly just looking out for themselves, that sh she had to do the same thing. Yeah. And, and you know, they, they get carried away. Uh, they're, they're obsessed with each other, these two men, from the beginning right. to the end because of friendship, because of um, love and hate and um, loyalty and distrust and everything. And, and they were both blinded where Ava was involved, I believe. Mm -hmm. As far as, yeah, they said they wanted her to be safe and, and, and they wanted to take care of her, but they, they had this other alter agenda that they had to get to, that they had to uh, take, take, take each other out. What about the, the final episode where Boyd pulls the trigger? I mean, he's, he shoot, you know, he, he aims and shoots at, Ava. at Ava. Walton repeatedly says, Boyd would never hurt Ava. Boyd <laughs> loves Ava. He's the, she's the <laughs> love of his life. But he pulled the gun. So what's that about? I mean, I think he justifies it by saying he knew. He knew it wasn't loaded, yes. There was also a clip that they didn't show where he also puts the gun to his own head and shoots himself, too. I think he's so frustrated. And what drove him for the last couple of years was the love story that somebody from such a violent background could find or, or try to convince themselves that they found their idea of love and what these two people had was a very unique love story with a lot of distrust yeah, <laughs> and yeah. a lot of you know violence around them and surrounding them I don't think he the way he played Boyd ever wanted to hurt Ava and his heart but when you're that heartbroken and that deceived, um, you're not, you don't know what you want to do. And I think he wanted her to pay or wanted some kind of uh, answer from her. You know, like how I think the, the idea that um, she could do what she did to him was almost unfathomable. He couldn't. He went a little crazy along the line. Yeah. This season. Yeah, so, he, did. he killed a lot of people. He did. So it's not kind he of. He wanted like, to kill Ava, but he was trying to take other people out to get the frustration out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's maybe why. She, what everyone should do in a right, relationship. Right. They should just, you know, <laughs> take it out on other people. Yeah. And keep the the inner circle strong. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was that was the thing, you know. Walton saying that Boyd would never hurt Ava, but I mean, he pretty much just like was completely indiscriminate about who he murdered throughout the final season. He wouldn't intentionally ever want to hurt Ava, but he got to the point where he was uncontrollable. He was not controlling his own actions. I mean, even in the cabin when he took yeah. me across the floor. Yeah. There was, snap. yeah. He snaps, and you know, he's kind of a wild animal like that, the character. So, not Walt. Could he? Not Walt. <laughs> No. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. That that there were some great moments in this final season where just kind of the cat and mouse between Boyd and Ava and who is I mean that that underlying deceit deception going on. Mm -hmm. um, those must have been a lot of fun to play. It was so much fun where they put my character this season and the mental game she had to play with herself, not only the other characters that she was uh, basically put in the middle of. Um, at the beginning, I don't know what Walton was doing. We try not to talk about it as much, but I constantly felt like, he knows, he knows, he knows, you know? Right. And I was convincing her that he knew, but he just wasn't telling her yet. So that by the time they got to the cabin, it was, it was like, all right, just confess. I'm confessing, you confess. We all know, let's, let's not table. play the game yeah. anymore. Let's yeah. put the cards out on the table and see where we are. Yeah. 
And you can join in this conversation uh, using the hashtag AskLATimes on Twitter. We had a question um, from, one, from one reader uh, saying that so many actors have shined on Justified with performances that to this day seem a cut above. What was it about the show that mm. made that happen? And you see so many people just doing this amazing work on the show. Yes, and and they've come in after a day or two of shooting and, and specifically walked over and talked to us and said, I've never felt so comfortable to truly be creative and to feel like I can just let it all go and 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 be a part of this family. Because we were all very warm and welcoming and um Walton and Tim have very different ways of working, but they're both very inviting to the company that we kept. And, and we got the most amazing talent cast on the yeah. show, so that helps too. We were just excited to see them as they were to come and see us. And it was always, even the directors were very, very, very sad at the end. They said, it, there's nothing like coming to this show and shooting on this show. It's a place... Uh, where there's a lot of collaboration on all realms and um, just open, open and warm, yeah. As for what happened, yeah. <laughs> for what went down within the yeah. show, yeah. like the environment of the the place where you actually created was uh, uh, just open, yeah. It was always intense, but there's always like some some humor in, in it too. I mean, sure. it was it was that was the great thing about the show is that it's this mix of tones and they always worked. And the writing was always so great too. Uh, we uh, best writing on television, yeah. I think. Yeah, definitely. They gave us the words, and we just got to live them. But yeah, um, and that that was. Um, I think I read an article. Uh, one of the number one things Graham said he's going to miss is that he got to steal the Elmore Leonard way of of writing a mm -hmm. story, and. Um, and within that is always the underlining humor yeah. that you talk about. And um, while you're, I, I always go back to the opening scene with Raylan and uh, Ava when you first are introduced to this wonderful woman, this character, and everything you, she's going through, you get in one, you know, scene right there in the very beginning, and she's seducing this man while she's talking about how she just shot her husband, how she'd killed her husband, and. You know, getting him an RC Cola and talking about <laughs> yeah, Lysol yeah. and it's yeah. Great it's introduction. So fun, so fun. And you mentioned season five. That wasn't really a fun season for Ava. Mm -mm. I mean you were in she was in prison. Um I mean, was that like a hard season? You can you were kind of away from the the cast yes. a lot for the main cast. Was that a hard season for you to play or were you happy to get back to the gang in season six? Yes, it was hard, and yes, I was very happy to get back to the scene, yeah. uh, uh, to the gang in season six. Um, that, and that's the one season where it was really, really hard for me to bring that that humor into yeah. play, because it was just heavy, heavy. It was grim. Heavy and grim, and um, it, that it took away from uh, the fun of playing that character a little bit. But um, I think it was a very, very important season. Well, yeah, and, and it set up the season where Ava will do anything to not return to prison. It's uh, in, within the season. It set up yeah. uh, showing that this character would do anything to survive, sure. and, and not a lot of people can be beat down that many times and put in that dark of a situation. And I think it it is an example of where she was from where we all constantly go back to is this was a very hard, violent life to come out of. And they all did their best to um, survive <laughs> and, and to do, and to um, accomplish in some way the happiest ending they could all have. You know, Boyd can sleep where he is. <laughs> he gets to be that charismatic. Yeah. Energetic. He's got his flock. He's got his flock. Yeah. He's a he's a preaching. Uh, Ava's safe. She's with her kids. She's got to start over, which is all she wanted after coming out of season five. And uh, and Raylan still serving 
right. serving the cause and, and also got to keep his word. Ava still has the rifle near the, uh, the door. front door. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if that was just... She wasn't sleeping so well, I don't think. I mean, all yeah. but free yeah. and starting over. Do you think she sleeps better now after that, that conversation and walk with Raylan? Or were the... Partly. Yeah. Partly, but I don't know if he shared with her... That he was going to go to... His journey back yeah. to Boyd and what he was going to share. Yeah. Yeah. Were there any really emotional moments for you in filming that last episode? Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Many. And Graham Yost came the last two weeks, um, and he's a very sweet, wonderful, emotional man. <laughs> I got to the point where I was like, you guys have to get Graham away from me because I'm just going to start crying if I look at him. Almost every scene he watched, he was teared up. Really? The, scene, the ending scene with Raylan and I was, was hard because it was also... The, I think it was the last thing I was going to do with Tim. And um, so it all was full, full, full circle, yeah. full yeah. bodied, <laughs> very present. Um, um, and I didn't want it to be just her. I love Ava that she's so strong and that she, she can feel that emotion and tear up, but that she's not, it doesn't overtake her. She's still like, Yes, I'm happy, and 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 you're doing this for me, and and this is, is and everything I dreamed of is, is, after escaping is, finally going to come to rest and and peace. But um, after they said cut, I was yeah. <laughs> just lost it, and I looked over, and Graham was crying right there, and then I looked behind him, his brother was crying, <laughs> everybody was crying. Yeah, it was wow. a lot of emotion. Yeah. Well, was, I mean, that was the crazy thing. I, what was the reaction at the at the Harlan screening? Because it was so kind of unlike Justified to have that like time jump, you know, where the it kind of ends and then I, what was the what was the jump in time? A couple of years later, or it was about four, four years four later. Years, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. It was like whoa, yeah. <laughs> you know, this hair. is something uh, <laughs> the shows. Yeah, don't yeah, do a so lot, and they great. did it well. Yeah. I mean, it was just what you needed to kind of suffice uh, where you, you got a little uh, information of where the people ended up and, um, and it wasn't um, perfect in any way for anybody, but it was, it was good. Uh, the, the screening in Harlan County, the, some of the moments I remember um, most were when <laughs> Raylan got shot and the hat flies off. I was like, ah. People were wondering. Yeah. Yeah. They really thought he was, he was dead, and then when Ava pulls off, they're like, oh, yeah, that was a girl. Go, girl. It was so fun. Um, yeah. And then, and then I think, you know, just the moments you get, you get, you get to see Ava comfortable again and relaxed and in a good place. You get to see Boyd preaching, like I said, and, and then Raylan, those two together, that last scene was so powerful, and that, that you could, the friendship that started yeah. it all. It was about as happy an ending as Justified could have. Yeah. Plus, Win Duffy in the dog grooming van, you know, helped you out. <laughs> Win Duffy's our little dirty cockroach. Yeah. We were they were trying to figure out who was going to help me escape uh, around um, ten after I shoot Boyd, and we weren't sure. And the, there's dabbles here and there, Loretta, and I'm like, well, I don't really think Ava knows Loretta, you know. And then and then it came to Win Duffy, and everyone's like, yes. Yeah. If anyone could do it in a dog van. Right. <laughs> it could be Win Duffy. Yeah. Yeah. And it was great because, you know, so many people did die during the course of that final season. But, and you kind of thought, well, are they going to kill off Win too? No, they can't do that. And you said cockroach. But yeah, he is the guy who just, you yeah. can't kill. There's, I, 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 it should be a, a trivia question. How many times was Win Duffy supposed to die? Was Jared Burns going to get get it and and many i think like six yeah it was written going to set they were going to shoot it and not and and then really like, no i don't think this is this is appropriate <laughs> right now and so not, tim saved him the first time wow. I, yeah, yeah 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 so not only did i like the situations were kind of crazy for the character but i mean they were actually meant to kill him yes at, and Many times. <laughs> change of heart because he was so good. So good. You can't kill off a character like that. Yeah. It was really hard for them to kill off uh, Dewey. Well, that was heartbreaking. It was heartbreaking. And originally they had pitched that he was going to be the turning point for Ava in the season. 
that he wouldn't be killed till like you know midway through, and she would witness it and then realize she has all to. of what Boyd was made of, even though she knew inherently. But and then they decide, no, we need it at the beginning. We need to show the audience what this man's capable of and where he is right, right. now. That was awful. Yeah, that was, a, but a great way to start the season. Yeah. Uh, poor Dewey. Poor Dewey. We love Damon. Did you take anything? Did you have any souvenirs from the set? Um, yes. Any reminders of Ava? I yeah. took my parking spot, um, Joel Carter, U.S. Marshal. <laughs> um, and there was a sign in Boyd's office, in the back office. It's a blue moon um, beer yeah, sign. Yeah, right. Okay. For many reasons, I took it. But I, I wanted something, and I couldn't figure out what I wanted from the stage. And, and I, I saw that. I was like, that's what I wanted. So I took it. So where is that now? It's going to hang in my office. Okay. Yes. Right now it's in a box in my office. <laughs> a wardrobe or? Oh, we did get wardrobe. I got yeah. some wardrobe from Ava. Yeah. I really wanted the camel leather jacket, but I didn't get it because it was uh, it was rented from, I think, the Warner Brothers lot. Mm -hmm. They don't let you have that stuff. Yeah. No it's... matter who you are, I guess. Maybe some people get it. but And I think some things were auctioned off. For charity. For charity. Okay. That's nice, yeah. Well, amazing last season. It was so much fun. I mean, yeah. and like, like you said, I mean, yeah, you could not have had a better ending, I think, for all the characters. So I personally, uh, I know they wanted to show that little bit of growth for Raylan when he decides not to shoot Boyd in the barn. For me, I feel like I've been very lucky because I've had growth every season within itself and then from the beginning to the end. Yeah. You yeah. can't really ask for more than that. Great journey. Yeah, great journey. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. Talking. And for more uh, television coverage, please go to latimes.com. Thanks for watching. <laughs>